What is up, everybody? This is your boy, Q-Dogs Truth, coming in with a conscious woke video, y'all. So today in this video, um, the title of this video is going to be called The Eve Gene and the Mitochondrial Gene. So today in this video, since you guys want to know what I'm going to be talking about, I am going to be talking about the Eve Gene. So I'm going to be explaining what is the Eve Gene, you know what I'm saying, and why it's important to know about the Eve gene, and I'm going to be talking about a lot of deep information here, so I suggest you guys to use your discernment. Um, also, do your own research. Don't believe what I'm saying. Use your own discernment. Think for yourself. Think outside the box. That's what I try to preach here, and I'm going to be talking about a few other things that people have said or a few things I've been going through. I'm not going to call it beef, but you know, the bullshit, the bullshit that is going on in the so-called spiritual community too. I'm going to be talking about that too. So me didn't, for, I didn't forget about that, you know, but um, I'm about to get ready right now and share the screen. So today, like I was saying, we're going to be talking about the E gene. I'm going to try and explain the best way to you guys what the E gene is. I'm going to try and explain the best way so you guys can understand, you can understand and you can um, overstand my message. So basically, you guys, you guys can do a simple Google research about the Eve gene. You know what I'm saying? This is what they say, but I'm going to get to the real shit. So I looked up on Google. It says, what does the Eve gene mean? It says, for clarification, the Eve gene does not necessarily reference the first female human or of any species. That's what they claim. But my other sources say otherwise. But anyways... But it says, but it's um, but it is more accurately used to refer to the most historically recent fe female from which humans can trace their ancestry. So uh, I looked up other things, shit like where's the E gene come from. It says if you trace, if you trace the DNA in the maternally inherited mitochondrial mitochondrial within ourselves, it says all humans have a theoretical common ancestor that says this woman known as mitochondrial Eve lived between 100,000 and 200,000 years ago in Southern Africa. So that's what they say. Uh, I'm just going to read some of this shit. It says, where's the Eve gene found? So it says over the years, as more people, as more genetic information was collected from more people, this, th this mitochondrial Eve, whose mitochondrial DNA profile is dubbed the um, LO, this is HAPO group, which has been traced closer and closer to Southern Africa, landing square, squarely along the clicking Coetian people, or said, or said something like that. So uh, it says, what, it says, who has the mitochondrial E gene? So it says, where does the mitochondrial DNA come from? It says, the mitochondrial DNA comes from the mother. Which is true. It says tracing the lines of mother's back. One can see that all humans had the same. Pe it says female progenitor known as the mitochondrial e known as the mitochondrial Eve. So it says what was the color of the first humans? You know what I'm saying. So some of this shit. So so some of the information they talking about here is halfway true. Like I said, it's mixed with it's mixed with the truth. And the motherfucking lies. You know what I'm saying? Because, of course, in school, they ain't never taught me about the motherfucking Eve gene. They ain't never talked about that the black woman is the only um, woman on the planet that can give birth to an, a, a person from another race. Of course, these goddamn schools in the United States of America, KKK, at the fucking end, is not going to talk about that shit on purpose. You know what I'm saying? It's for, like I said, of course they're not going to talk about this shit. You know what I'm saying? Because like I've been saying school, like I said, they, pro, they program us with fucking lies and all this other bullshit. But this is the, this, this is the real information that I'm going to talk about right here. Y'all see this shit? This is what I'm going to talk about. And this is what I'm going to try and break down so y'all can understand, overstand my message. All right. And according to these websites that I'm pulling up right now on Google, you know what I'm saying? You can find this information about the Eve gene on, you know, Reddit. You can find it on Twitter. 
Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, etc. DuckDuckGo, Yahoo. So basically, this is how they explain, or this is how th- th- this is what the according to these websites and according to these screenshots, um, people have taken pictures of. This is what the Eve gene really is, or th- these are the this is the real definition of the Eve gene. It states that scientifically, the so-called black woman. So I know I've said this shit in my past videos. Well, I don't really like to use the word fucking black. So if you guys didn't know, according to etymology, the word black means pale, um, wan, colorless, having an, and also the word black means having an absence of color. So that's why, really why I don't like using the word black. You know what I'm saying? And if you look at me, I don't have an absence of color. I have motherfucking color in my skin. So that's why I don't like using the word black. And also, if you guys didn't know, black is dead Black is dead in the eyes of the law, which I think is called Sibelius Mortius, which I'm going to have, like I said, I'm going to do a video about that too, trying to break it, break it, break down what Sibelius Mortius is and some of the certain laws that um, nobody knows about. So I'm going to break that down in another video, but let me continue to read this. But it says, um, scientifically, the so-called black woman is the only organism that possesses the mitochondrial DNA that has all the variations possible for every kind of human being on this earth. It says when the DNA of a so-called black woman mutates, you can you can call black woman the indigenous woman, you know what I'm saying, the original woman or, you know, goddess of this planet. Let me just continue. That's why I like to call it call so-called black people like the indigenous people you know what i'm saying because we didn't all come from africa and all this other shit but let me finish but it says when the dna of a so-called black woman mutates all other types of human beings come about you can research this topic and it is true this is called the e gene and is only found in the so-called black woman or the original woman of this planet Y'all get what I'm saying? So basically, that is the true definition of um, the E gene or what the or breaking down what the E gene is. Because like I said, most of this information, it is hidden. You know what I'm saying? Because you already know how Google is. They tend to shadow ban certain types of information that they claim is against the narrative. Y'all get what I'm saying? So... There's other definitions of what the um, E gene is. So I'm just gonna go uh, click on this right now. This is this is what what it says when, when it's talking about the E gene. So it says scientifically, the so-called black woman is the only organism that possesses the mitochondrial DNA that has all the variations possible for every different kind of human being on this planet, the Earth, or on this or on this Earth. It says the African, the albino, European, Middle Eastern, etc. Or ETC, that's what it stands for. It says, when the DNA of a so-called black woman mutates, all other types of human beings come about. You can research this topic and it's true. It says it is called the Eve gene and is only found in the so-called black woman. The so-called black woman is the manifestation manifestation of God. So that is the definition that they have on Twitter. To sum this up, to get to my point, basically what I'm what I'm saying is, or just to sum this up, the so-called black woman, like it was saying, is the only organism that can give birth to another race. For example, they can give they can give birth to a Caucasian person, a Caucasian man or a woman, they can give birth to a Oriental man or a woman, the so-called black woman, when her genes mutate, can give birth to, like I said, a Dravidian, she can give birth to a um Arab man or a woman. So like I said, you know what I'm saying? The, the so-called the so-called black woman is powerful. You know what I'm saying? In these schools, in these school, in these schools, especially in America. They, 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 they ain't going, they, they are not, they would never tell us 
how great the original beings of this planet are. They are never going to do that. The whole goddamn system systems that is set in place is against the original beings of this planet. So why the fuck they why the fuck would you think they want my people or anybody else to know this type of information? You know what I'm saying? They want to keep niggas locked. They want to keep niggas in the box. You know what I'm saying? They want to keep niggas ignorant. So I don't want niggas commenting some stupid shit on you on my on my YouTube videos talking about I don't know what I'm talking about. Cause I just told y'all. I just brought up the evidence to back up my claim. And if you don't believe me, if you don't believe what I'm saying, that the so-called black woman can give birth to a Caucasian, an Oriental, or an Arab woman, all right, I'm gonna show you some I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show you some pictures and I'm going to uh talk about a few certain people, you know, that <laughs> that, that 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 have so-called white people as siblings. You get what I'm saying? Like I said, I got the proof to back up my claim. Where's your proof? Let, let me show y'all a picture real quick. Since, since some of y'all are saying some dumb shit, hold up real quick. I want y'all to read this right here. I want y'all to read this right here. Let me bring this down real quick. Let me let, read, read what it says. So it says, uh, this is from the National Geographic um, website or whatever, but I was saying... Um, Special issue, National Geographic, black and white. It says, these twin sisters make us rethink everything we know about race. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to talk about a few certain people in this video that I have done research on. Wow. Why don't you guys look at this? I got proof to back up my motherfucking claims. Why don't you guys go, like I said, go ahead and do the research. Why don't you guys meditate on this? Use your own discernment, but look, look, look at what I found. Since some of y'all are going to say I'm crazy and I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Huh? Look at this. We'll scroll down real slowly so y'all can do the research. Look at this. Huh? Which, what y'all got to say now? For the non-believers out here, what you got to say now? Huh? Look, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, look look at this, y'all. See, I'm telling you, I got proof to back up my claims. So if you guys still don't believe what I'm saying, let me ask you a question. Have you guys ever heard the Elmer twins? Have you got have you guys ever done research? Or have you guys ever heard of the El Elmer twins? They're called they're called the Elmer twins. They're, they they live in the UK, but they are un they are they they are actually a real they're actually real people. You get what I'm saying? But um, what the but the Elmer the, but the Elmer twins they are um unidentical twins, and I've been knowing about these twins for a long time because I have done research on them, and there was YouTube videos talking about them. So basically, let me just sum this up. So one of the Elmer twins, I forget their names. Well, their name, their names, their name is Lucy and Mariah Elmer. I think it's called Elmer. Yeah. So the two twins' names are Lucy and Mariah Elmer. So one. So let me let me just explain this to sum it up. So one of the um, twins is look is or what what would look like as a so called black person. Then the other twin is a um or looks like a Caucasian with red hair. And I remember when I told you guys, when I said that I said that the original goddess of this planet can birth any other race if there is a mutation. I remember I told you guys that. And I'm telling, this is what I, and I, and I believe that this is a perfect example. A perfect example of what I was talking about. And I'm going to give you guys a little more information that I know about these twins. So, um, the Almer twins mom is half Jamaican and is a so-called black woman. And the Almer twins father is a Caucasian. I've heard stories of the two Almer twins talking about there were times that they had to, um, 
show people that where they had there was times where they had to show people their IDs and everything because nobody believed them or nobody believed that they were identical twins because just 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 just, be, just because of the way they looked just because one of the twins twins looked like a so-called caucasian and just because the other twin looked like a so-called black person you get what i'm saying or original being in this planet so um like i said like i said it was really educational because i've listened to this video talking about it. it was like a few years ago but i still remember it vividly so um yeah i'm just gonna i'm just gonna i'm just gonna keep on moving and i'm gonna talk about the next subject so the next guy i'm gonna talk about is brett and explain his story <laughs>